Welcome to today's Amuna Minute. Just yesterday, the Dafyomi celebrated a beautiful milestone. We began a new Masechta, the Masechta of Rosh Hashanah, the Tractate of Rosh Hashanah. And the opening Mishnah of Rosh Hashanah discusses the idea of Arba Rosh Hashanah. There are four new years. There's a new year for tithing purposes, new year for crops, new year for animals, new year for kings. Kings would go ahead and use the first of Nisan as their as the beginning of their reign. They would track the years of their reign based on the Hebrew month of Nisan. And then of course there's the first of Tishrei. The first of Tishrei as we know it what we colloquially call Rosh Hashanah is Rosh Hashanah the Shemitin Leovlos is a Rosh calendrical Rosh Hashanah, a calendrical New Year. Not only that but remember again the first of Tishrei is a different kind of Rosh Hashanah as well is that each and every year it is also the beginning of the period of the Days of Judgment. As the Gemara itself explains by Rosh Hashanah on the Yom Tov of Rosh Hashanah the first of Tishrei Call Ba'e Olam over the fun of Kibneimar, and all of humanity comes before God for judgment. And so the commentaries in the Gemara ask a very simple question. The Mishnah opens with a discussion about the new year for kings, about the first of Nisan. But as the commentaries, why does the Mishnah start that way? Doesn't it make more sense that the Mishnah should begin with a discussion about the first of Tishrei, what we colloquially call Rosh Hashanah, our calendrical Rosh Hashanah, calendrical New Year, our judgment New Year? Shouldn't that be the first thing that we discuss? And the great side of the Gemagid of Mezrich gives such a beautiful penetrating insight. He says, what's the worst sin a Jew could commit? Worst Avera. And the truth is, I'm sure we'd have all different imaginative answers for this particular question. But the Maggid says, I want to tell you what the worst Avera. The worst Avera is when we forget that we are B'nai Malachim. When we forget that we are royalty. You see, when you forget that you're royalty, when you forget that you're special, that opens the door to all types of egregious behavior. I'll give you a simple example. You come home and you're hungry. Come home and you're hungry. Happens. Would it ever dawn on you to go ahead and go outside to the back of your house, open up the garbage can, and see what's there? You know, Rachmona Litzlan, there are people who have to do that. But would it ever occur to me to do something like that, no matter how hungry I was? Would I ever imagine going ahead and going into the garbage can? Again, I'd sooner use Uber Eats than, than, than go ahead and go into the garbage can. Why? Because that act of going through the garbage can is beneath me. It's, it's repulsive. It doesn't, it doesn't even enter my mind that that's on the spectrum of possibilities. Of course I'm not going to do that. Says the Magid of Mezrich, if a person would only remember that I am royalty, that I am spiritual royalty, that I am a son of Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, that I am a daughter of Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah, that most importantly, I am a child of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That would inform and shape the way that I live. And that would inform and shape the decisions that I make. But alas, sometimes we forget that we are royalty. We think that we are commoners. We think that we are regular folk. We think that our actions don't matter. We think that we are insignificant. And the moment you begin to think that way, the door to all types of egregious behavior is thrown wide open. Says the Magid of Mezrich, the worst Avera we could commit is not a lapse in ethics and it's not a lapse in morality. Those are serious transgressions as well. It's not something we eat that we were supposed to not eat or something we did we weren't supposed to do. The worst Avera is when you forget who you are. The worst Avera is when you forget that you're royalty. The worst of it is when you forget that you're important and there are things that I don't do because they're beneath me, because they don't fit with the grandeur of my spiritual persona. The moment we forget that, says the Magid of Mezrich, is the moment we've committed the worst Avera of all. And therefore, says the Magid, this is why the Mishnah and Rosh Hashanah begins not with a discussion about the first of Tishrei, not with a discussion about the calendrical Rosh Hashanah, but instead begins with a discussion of the Rosh Hashanah Limelachim, the new year for kings, to remind and instill this mindset in each of us. We are kings, we are queens, we are royalty, and may we find the courage and the strength to act accordingly. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.